going to set the time back again and if we have eight particles being spawned we have to set at least to start at negative eight so they can start at different times I'm gonna start this at negative 20 and they will stop at negative two make sure they all get in there they all start animated and moving a little bit I'm going to raise our emitter to 1000 1000 and I'm going to hide the emitter alright so now we have just um, kiwi bots that are randomly walking they don't have a goal they don't have any purpose they're just going to keep going whatever direction they're aimed at until they run into another kiwi bot and then they will change directions okay so we have that I'm going to save control S and we have our kiwi bot scene then okay I'm, I would normally uh, hit F10 to bring up my render setup but F10 stops Camtasia Camtasia HD 12 something and quick render again so now we see our kiwi bots okay great now we have these things set up as particles we can do anything we want that we could normally do with particles and in this case we're going to blow them up <laughs> which means if we can get a higher I'm gonna set these two circles that are going to represent KiwiBot placement I'm going to jump this to 20 you see the clusters of them there Shape instance. Turn that off. I don't need that right now. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and make a deflector. S deflector stands for sphere deflector. All right, so that's what that means. And we will animate that to shoot across this crowd of particles over a set period of time. We want to change our uh, our easing to no ease, just straight through, and. At 240, we will be done with our animation. We'll move it here. And we'll start it at 220. So from 220 to 240, that'll be in motion. And that'll be like our strike. That's the path of destruction. And it'll take out some Kiwi bots. Okay, good. So now that we have that, we can bring this up. And we'll put in a collision spawn. Add by list. Only one thing on the list. Deflector. So now as the deflector runs into these things, they will go to the next event. Change a couple of things. Can 
continue. Set the offspring to four. Oh, are you seeing this now? It's pretty awesome. So we'll set the speed by. Uh, we're going to do speed by surface. Drag that out. The surface will get. It'll just be the ground plane. That's fine. That'll work for this. change that from circles to ticks so we can see what's going on speed by service 300 500 by 250 and then we'll set the divergence to more than 90. We'll do like a, I don't know, 130. Which means they should go out in almost a, a spherical angle. Also, you want to set more, well, set that to like 20, the variation of 25%. So when they hit, you know they hit pow, 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 pow. First thing we'll notice, we don't want them to fly off indefinitely, so we'll put a a uh, gravity space warp in there. In your forces, gravity, gravity. So we can put a. Force add gravity and we'll put a ground collision in there. Deflector, deflector. This we can make ten thousand. 10,000, make sure it gets everything. And I'm going to hide our scene extras. So we don't have to look at that. That ground plane just obscuring our view of the particle madness and fun.